Hey guys, Tim Lani here. Uh, welcome to part two of the how to make an intro using Blender only. So yeah, in this uh, part of the episode, in, the, in this part of the series, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the a walk cycle or a run cycle, whichever you need. And also gonna show you guys how to make the drop, uh, the character movement for the drop. So yeah, let's con let's get on to this. So first of all, we're gonna go for a walk cycle. First of all, you're gonna insert a keyframe for everything. Then we're gonna go to we're gonna go 10 frames front. Gonna move the we're gonna move one leg front. The correspond the cor the the leg you move front. The corresponding arm goes back, bends a bit, and just do what I do. Head head straight other arm goes front so yeah blue blue feet goes back blue arm goes front red red feet goes front blue arm uh, red 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 arm goes back so yeah you get it so now it look like this you move the leg that moves the leg that moves forward you move it uh you move it front and you move up and uh, with this with the lower spine you move it up so it looks like this it doesn't look like a walk cycle so you can move this back up again yep now if after every step make sure you put in the keyframe or else two legs will go front at the same time we did not we did not want that to happen all right now i'm just gonna quickly do a few more steps Okay guys, that should be the walk cycle. Wait. Alright, we got this one. Yep, there we go. Are you serious? There we go. Now, now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a run cycle. Yeah, uh, most intros you're gonna make, you're gonna do a walk cycle then a run cycle. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Uh, uh, in your latest frame, you're gonna insert keyframe for the whole character. Now, you're gonna make one more step front. One more step front, but this step's gonna look like this. The, the leg goes slightly f a f le more front and has this bend and it goes quite a lot front. the the let's try that again the player moves front a, a bit more let's say twice this it goes front twice there you go then uh, this leg goes somewhere over here so let's make that happen make sure you go five frames back Enter key frame so both fr so both legs don't go up at the same time, and you're gonna make the character bend down much more than before. Right, still look in front though. Yep, now I just need to make this go up, and here's the difference between running and walking: the lower spine goes down, not up this time. The, the leg still goes up though as you can see like he jumps in midair 
you know, see if that if you get that result then you just need to move it a bit more forward looks much better there we go now that's the st that's the part between running and walking this is not the running part the running part you're gonna go 10 for uh wait I'm gonna uh, keyframe the whole character now we're gonna go 10 frames front you're gonna move the you can move the back leg and the lower spine uh, you're gonna zoom out until you get these squares big squares well not too big now we're gonna move this to front three uh, two squares uh, make sure your magnet mode is on so you can do stuff and once uh, once you've did that the foot that goes front must be must not be bending then this foot is gonna put there this foot must be like that go down a bit go here this goes bending as if you were running this foot stays here so you get that look yep there we go now we just need to move the arms uh, the front arm bends much more than the back arm so keep, keep that in mind Yeah, so yeah, and also the more lower the character goes, the more realistic it'll look. So yeah, try make that. Try do that. Right now, I'm just gonna do a few more, and then we'll go to the drop. Yeah, this should be enough. You can put one more step front and we'll move to the drop. Yep, this should do it. Move the arms. Now I'm just gonna do this. Select all the keyframes. I'm gonna move it near the drop here to drop. Move it here. There we go. So, so it does move here. Make a jumping drop. So, right here he jumps up. Wait, need to there. There we go. So we go here. I'm gonna make the character jump up. Like, make us go back. Go like this. It goes like that. You should do it. Let's go. Make the arms go a bit separate so it looks like he's jumping. Here. Go like where it was. So he doesn't look like he's flying. Move this a bit back. Yep, 
now we're gonna go to the part where the beat changes Click here. here this is where the beat changes and select all the bones gonna make a move front here now it'll look like you do now like that that's just gonna look like seems a bit too much just gonna put a keyframe there delete this keyframe put another keyframe there and then delete this one should do it now this is where the beat changes this is where you can change the pose now this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go three keyframes front one, one two three I'm gonna make the character fall down wait now I'm gonna make the character fall down with his left leg going down and he's gonna stomp the ground or something he's gonna look down it's gonna bend down that's how it's gonna that's what we're gonna do then we're gonna move it front move this down a bit move this down a bit bend it down a bit as well there we go all right now I'm just gonna make the camera and sync with the character Now, just gonna do. Let's just let's just do this. And yes, I have changed the song and uh, sync a bit. So yeah, guys, that should be it for this episode of how to make Minecraft intro using Blender. Uh, yeah. So yeah, next episode I'm gonna show you guys how to make the text. I'm gonna show you guys how to move this thing so it matches the character's movements and yeah that's all oh yeah and i'm also going to show you guys how to make that bouncing that sweet bouncing you see right here pretty sweet i'd say yeah you guys tell me what you want to see next uh if no one t if no one answers you're gonna I'm just gonna do the text so yeah see you guys later